thing, one of the first things I do, first of all, I get my chicken. I buy organic chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now I find mine at Costco because they're only $5.99 a pound. Um, they also uh, sell them really inexpensively at Whole Foods. They are these 365 brand organic chicken breasts are also very, um, very good and just a dollar more per pound. But I, I'm not anywhere near a Costco. Excuse me, not anywhere near a Whole Foods. Um, so Bell and Evans is also another great brand. Um, D'Artagnan is another great brand, but those get to be a little bit more pricey. So um, I like to go with these other brands that are a little bit more in my budget. Um, and if organic is not the way to go, I also recommend other, like if organic is not available near you, I also recommend Murray's Chicken is a really good brand and also Bell and Evans, um, not the green label, but the blue label. Those are some good brands um, that if you are going to buy chicken that you uh, get them from. So um, and now the first thing that I do after I unpackage my chicken is I cut my chicken breasts lengthwise in half. So chicken breast usually looks like this. I cut it down the middle that way. So you have two halves going down so that they're not, they're half as thick. That's the first thing. And I have to say, I'm going to give my husband all the credit for that particular tip because he started doing that and it's been so key because the chicken winds up cooking so much faster. Um, and then I season each side with, and I'm not going to pick it up now, but with pink Himalayan salt, uh, granulated garlic and, um, and a little bit of pepper. So I have all of my chicken breasts right here, um, uh, facing up, whatever one side and I've seasoned the sides. And now I have over here on my, on my stove, I actually have two grill pans going now. I'm going to show you really quickly. Hold on. The beauties of going live. So this pan is grooved. If you can see, it's grooved. It's a um, Le Creuset, um, pretty heavy cast iron pan, um, and it's a grill pan. And that's what I do it. And I also got one of these grill pans when we bought this stove top. So on the other side is a griddle. On this side is a uh, is a grill top. And um, so I'm using both of these because I have that much chicken and I like to cook it all at once. Um, and then I coated my pans. I put them there on like just under medium heat. So you have to know your stove, like about medium to medium low heat is what you want. Um, and then I have a bunch of these nonstick cooking sprays. I, I coated my pan um, with, I used grapeseed oil today, but I also have extra virgin olive oil. Oops, and I have coconut oil, all for different purposes. Um, but this brand, Pompe Pompeian, is really good. It's, um, it is no propellants, it's eco-friendly, so no CFCs, um, and this is a recyclable uh, can, so I think that's really, really good. Um, and so I just lightly coated my pans, and now I'm just going to bring my chicken over and just start grilling them. Now I will pretty soon put on the fan because not that it gets smoky. It shouldn't get smoky, but you know, the fans are always a good thing to have on, but I will wait till after I'm done making the video. And, um, let's see, move this over. And then the last little bit, a lot, the last little piece to how I make my chicken and uh, why I think it comes out so good is I have this grill pep press. Usually people use this for bacon, whatever, but I use this for grilling chicken. So it's super heavy. Pretty sure we got it like Williams Sonoma. Um, it literally says grill press on the side and I just put it right down on the chicken so that it, um, it just presses into the surface more. And so the cooking time is cut down in half from if you kept them, you know, at their normal width and thickness and, and you actually help them to cook even longer with, excuse me, cook even quicker with that grill press because it's really pressing it down into the heat source. And it actually also serves as a little bit, it, you'll, you'll see like moisture starts to um, get trapped sort of underneath that grill press, which isn't a bad thing. It means that the moisture isn't necessarily escaping out of the chicken breast. So, um, Anyway, that's how I make my grilled chicken, and um, this is going to last me depending on whether or not my husband is making food for, you know, uh, if, whether or not my husband is eating lunch at home. This, um, and this is two packages, this will last me about uh, three to four days, 
So yeah, I usually do meal prep the beginning of the week and then I wind up having to do some more meal prep uh, midweek because uh, it doesn't always last me through the whole week. In fact, it never does. So all right, uh, I'll post a picture later of what my lunch actually looks like, but hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. And um, let me know the next time you make grilled chicken, if you did it this way, how it came out. All right. I hope you guys are having a great day. See you soon. Bye.